Right, I wanted to give you a, a little overview, brief overview of my little three inch sketchbooks. So this is the first one that I started. Um, it won't close, there's no way it's going to close, which is good. That's the front, okay. That's the back. Um, so, inside front cover, first page. There's no way they're going to lie flat. That page. That page. Toggle on there. That page. They do lie flat when you get to a certain point, but and it's not an issue. I love that they don't lie flat. That page. Let's keep turning. So and that's as far as I've got with this one. Now you might think, well that's pretty full already Karen, but it's there's still empty pages. Look, there's quite a lot of empty pages in this one. Um, so I still need to keep going with that. And it's kind of like sculptural, it just falls open at any given page. But I made a page marker. Sometimes it's hard to work back there when you're uh, when it's so full and falling over. So sometimes something as simple as that will hold it open. Um, and also folding back the front cover helps as well to keep it open to work on there so when I come to work on there well maybe not but I mean I will still work on these pages I'm determined and I made this page marker with patchwork and then I beaded it okay so if I go to my next one the second one that I started here so there's less work in this at the moment so that's the front and that's the back, okay. I love these green beads. I've ordered some more of those because I like them. Um, first page, like a little book there on the first page. Okay, that page, that page. And then that's the last one I've done in here. So I've got a few pages to fill in that one too, but I thought I wanted to make a page marker like the one I made for the first book. So I put this together um, with ribbon actually, mostly ribbon. This is Liberty fabric, but the pink and the blue is ribbon. And you can see the blue ribbon, a similar blue ribbon is in there. Um, so that, but then I'm thinking maybe they're not big enough. Maybe they need to be a bit longer. So what I wanted to do with this, I wanted to add some beads in the same way as I added beads to here, but not the same beads, okay. So I've got some thread here just randomly um, coming through this shape. So the first thing I want to do is put one of these on. These are tiny little pom-poms, I love these. <coughs> I don't make these, by the way. Need the patience of 12 cents to make them. And then I've got these beads here that I think might look nice. They're similar to the green ones I showed you a minute ago. Um, but the thing is, those green ones are very hard to get hold of. A lot of people don't have stocks, I think maybe because of the pandemic. Um, so I've got some on back order. And then I'm going to finish that with a little pom-pom on the top so that they don't fall off. And just stitch through there to secure that. Oops, and it will wrap around, it's like it's bound to, isn't it? So that's the first lot of beads. Now the thing about doing them like this with these big beads, fibres, is that they're not going to stand proud in the way these ones do. These kind of stand up a little bit because they're, well not massively, but more than those. But having said that, I could put more on. I'll try one with three beads on, or maybe two beads, a pom-pom, and then two more beads maybe. I could try that, couldn't I? So I'll come up here, put a pom pom on first. And two beads. One. Oh. Two beads. These are uh, glass pebble beads, Mill Hill glass pebble beads, are lovely. Put another pom pom on. And then another two beads. 
I'm reluctant to sometimes think maybe you're sick of seeing books on my blog, but I'm reluctant to start anything new because I'm really, really focused on lace cloths and I'm trying really hard to progress my pieces for lace cloth and I'm very excited about those pieces and I want to work them and move them on as much as I can. So you stuck with little books for a while, I guess, until things from lace cloths become available and I can share them with you after the girls have seen them. So actually that's quite nice isn't it? So I'm going to do some more of that and then the photographs will, will show you how I've moved on and I'll do some of that further and I'll leave that one like that and put another one of those somewhere down here so it doesn't look like it's just one stuck in the middle of all these. So I'll do one more of those and then a few more of these. Okay but I do love these little books I mean I could do them forever. If you tell me you're not bored of seeing them then I won't feel boring keep showing you them um, but I just just love them just love them my son asked me the other day and I put it on my blog how many of those little books that you make have, have you got now and I was like not enough and he said why don't you sell some of them you may as well have put a stake through my heart I said oh, wash your mouth out you know son of mine anyway so can't part with them, I just can't. They both started off as in, uh, they, they, I've started making them both with the intention of selling them, but I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I'm so in love. Can't bear to part with them. I should have said to him, I could part with you easier than I can part with those. 